Welcome to the Camargue, a region of France, a very beautiful region in the south of France. The Camargue is famous for its ponds and its many vast stretches of water. But what's the difference between this one and any other one at the end of the world? None. Various places on the planet with the same natural environment have the same animals. At first glance, this pond could be, well, the calmest on the planet. And yet, on taking a closer look, we discover a funny amphibian. A kind of a thing. Is it a submarine, a beaver, a super otter? Nope. None of the above. This quiet little fellow checking up in his territory is a koi poo. You say, koi pu, yuck. No, I guarantee it. The koi poo isn't anything like a rat. This little animal is the only one of its kind. For a start, his teeth are fluoro orange, and that's because they're covered with a fine coating that makes them super resistant. As a result, the koi poo can eat just about anything he wants, from corn on a cob to water lily shoots. Nothing can resist him. The koi poo originally came from South America. In the last century, they were introduced into Europe for their pelts. When that trade fell off, they were released into the wild. And for them, it was paradise. The caiman, its worst enemy, stayed back in South America, and so the koipu is free for its favorite pastimes to eat and to swim. The koipu is completely amphibious. On the surface of the water, he paddles as well as a duck because his rear feet are webbed. But when he dives underwater, it's then that he is most impressive. By drawing up his front legs, he propels himself like a torpedo. And in addition, well, he has a sort of a valve inside his mouth that lets him eat plants without gulping down tons of water. <laughs> pretty clever, pretty clever. You know, it makes even the ducks jealous. It's true, if you look at the two diving techniques, well, there's no comparison. Where the ducks seem rocketed to the surface like a lot of windbags, the koi poo moves around the bottom like an underwater ballet dancer. And even up on the surface, wow, what precision. Well, that's it. Demonstration is over. The koi poo is undisputed champion of the amphibians. Naturally, he never brags about it. Hey, come on, you ducks. You're being sore losers. Unless maybe it's their time to migrate. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Well, the koi poo stays right at home. Anyway, he still has lots of places to explore. <laughs> <laughs>